Yo, it's Jazzy Black. I'm excited to be kicking back with one of my homies, Two Live Craig in the building. What's up, Craig? Jazzy! What it do, screw? We have a really big event coming up, Craig. We it's do. It's going down. Last year in December, I had the honor and privilege of meeting Mr. Jackson, uh, who's diagnosed with a very rare cancer called osteosarcoma. Um, and I, I had never even heard of osteosarcoma before I met Jackson. So, you know, one, I was glad that we could raise awareness um, about this cancer because it's a pediatric cancer um, and it can happen to anybody. Yep. Also, to be able to share an experience with him and bring him up to the station and just, we just, Jackson took over everything, okay? The on the air, the DJ, we had pizza in there, signing autographs. It was just, it was a whole, you know, experience. And in uh, what, February, February. Yep. Uh, unfortunately, Jackson uh, lost his fight, but he gained his wing. So, um, you know, I I do feel a sense of peace. He might have lost the fight with cancer, but like he still won at life. Yep. So, like I think that's really beautiful, um, and definitely just gave me like a shift and a way to look at things. So now, you know. Jackson was out here getting work done, okay? <laughs> um, getting a lot of work done at only 16 years old. Yep. And we got work to continue to do too, Craig. We so do. tell us about what's going down on August 10th. Yeah, so August 10th, we are hosting our annual Jackson Starling Love and Light event. The Love and Light Foundation is a foundation that we created on Jackson's behalf um, to kind of give families who are dealing with darkness um, and and just a, a, an amount of love and light that doesn't typically happen when you're going through a situation like that. So um, the experience that you were able to help us with giving Jackson the opportunity to come in and be a DJ on the radio, I think you can speak to the, the, the look on his face. You know, he yeah. loved it. He enjoyed it. It was it was a moment for him where he, he got to forget about all the other stuff he's dealing with and uh, and be special that day, you know? Right. And he, he was so selfless and so giving of his love that we just want to continue that legacy and, and forever and ever. You know? Yeah, I remember he was like, so I'm trying to do a toy job. I'm like, you trying to do a toy job? <laughs> Matter of fact, let me just play the audio. Well, I accept any type of toy, teen, babies. But the reason why I want to do is I say, lots of kids don't usually get to do that much when they're in the hospital since they're mostly hooked up to machines and stuff. So right. Say, maybe we could donate some toys to the little kids they can actually have some little just some something, happiness. yeah. Literally the sweetest kid. So people that might not be able to make it out to the event and they still want to be a part um, and just join this mission, right? Because now the real work starts. Absolutely. Uh, how can people get involved? So we, we are looking for sponsors, right? At the moment, um, we're looking for sponsors. We're going to be hosting the event at Fireside Surf, which nice. is in uh, the colony. I've been wanting to go to Fireside area. Surf. Well, you know what, Jazzy? You're coming, and I can't yes. wait to see you get on the surfboard and mm -hmm. surf with me. You know, I don't know about uh, all that. It's yes. a whole vibe. Yes. It's a whole vibe. It's a lot of fun. Can get these lashes wet? Yeah, so we can get some new lashes for you. And <laughs> Gog goggles. We, we goggles. Find a, can we find a lash sponsor out <laughs> yes. there? Lash okay, sponsor. Yeah, <laughs> I think we got one of those. If we not, might. I'll get one yeah, of those. We might. Yeah. Uh, fortunately, we, we uh, are partnering also with the Dining Divas. Nice. Um, we went to, and I think you, you probably remember a little bit of this from last night, Jazzy, but we went to um, an incredible event that the Dining Divas put on um, at Oak Meadow Ranch, and uh, quite an experience. They had giraffes, they had lemurs, they mm -hmm. had all kinds of things, so yeah. um, what an incredible event, and we're excited to have them on board. Um, partnering with us for the Love and Light event. So the Dining Divas, fabulous group of women that not only do things for sisterhood and build sisterhood networks, they do global work and humanitarian impact work. That's what a lot of people don't know. Mm. So this launch is more than just about looking and at, looking at and reviewing different venues for food. It's really about how they how can they change the world. So with them showing up in full force with their Texas Divas, all of them coming through, the ones that are here locally. Oh, they're going to come in there like, we need to make an impact. Everything yeah. that we do is about making an impact. Right. So for them to invite us out last night, last minute, they're like, hey, you know, Sherry, can you come out? Can you come through? Can you bring Craig? Can you bring Jazzy? I'm like, yeah, let's, you know, let's bring everybody in. We're right. going to do, we're going to do the thing. Yeah. And yes. So it's all about that community support. I and was so just about to say that teamwork makes the dream work. Mm -hmm. and, you know, one thing that I'm learning, even just being in this industry, um, is that, you know, finding people that you can 
you know, count on, right? Uh, people that you can talk to and even people that just don't even have to talk back, just be here and just be. Um, it's a really beautiful feeling. So, you know, I'm excited to see all of these different worlds collab uh, for a greater cause, which is super cool. So we definitely want everybody to come on out August 10th. And, you know, Craig, I am, I tell you all the time that I'm just so happy that we were able to cross paths because uh, you get up every day and do a lot of work for her. It's just some of everybody, kids, adults, families, like you are putting in so much work and and I'm proud. I'm proud to be your friend. So well, I, thank I'm, you for always keeping me, you know, in the mix. I'm thankful for you, Jazzy. Yeah. Thank you for everything. Um, blessed to have you in my life. And uh, we got a lot of work to do together. Let's do it. We do. <laughs> so look, everybody come on out August 10th. Uh, We're going to be supporting Jackson with love and light and, you know, helping support other families because we need each other now more than ever. So thank you guys so much. We love you, Jazzy. Thank you. Thank you.